Good morning from St. Marguerite Duvel Parish. Myself, Father Robert Mignella, um, originally from the home parish of All Saints in Etobicoke, and been a priest for 13 years now, assigned to this parish as of July 2014. In the various different dioceses I visited this year, everybody really seems to be on board with Pope Francis's focus on mercy as a great theme. We've tried to certainly include that in the ways that, as we were planning at the beginning of the year with Bishop Boissano, his suggestion was not to try and go crazy overboard, and again, put more into already a busy calendar year, but simply highlight and focus the many ways the parish is engaged in this great work of mercy, sacramentally and in the, the corporal works of mercies that most parishes are already engaged in. Hopefully everyone's familiar already with the Year Mercy logo. The whole Jesus going in search of the lost sheep, lost son from Luke 15 is done so nicely as uh, the limp, otherwise sinner, being brought back to the safety of the whole community. Hey, where do we get mercy from? From the French. Merci. No, oh my goodness, that was so kind. I wasn't expecting it. You shouldn't have had. Merci. Or, and then I get at least a little wordy, in the French from the Latin misericordia. Three Latin words, all there lined up, that have everything to do with mercy is about. Starting with the second word in um, misericordia, cor, le coeur, the heart. The third root word, dia, we get the French word donne, dare in Latin, to give. And also comes back to then the first root word, miserere, which is misery. I want to understand what Pope Francis has in mind in a year mercy theme then, and you put it all together, it's to give one's heart to another in misery. Mm, that's something that is an obvious and easy focus for us to thematically carry throughout a year. Whether it's collecting the no donations for Dr. Simone's Canadian Food for Children, whether it's the various lasagnas and casseroles that we go help with the food bank, whether it's us supporting Knight's Table, not to get on with the various uh, numerous second collections when it comes to Share Life and all the charitable outreach. So having this overarching theme of mercy has been uh, a good focus already in what the parish does in, in a very full year manner. What I would ask from every teacher involved at Mass, it's a big difference when here to be consistent that this gymnasium, this cafetorium is no longer just a place of play or conversation or meal, but it's a church. And I would simply invite every teacher likewise to say, yeah, look at this, my hand doesn't shake. I know so confidently that either we got this really, really, really right, or we're helplessly wrong, but that's not something I worry about. That either everything we're saying is true, or else, yeah, it's time for us to get out of the way because we've now become redundant and irrelevant. And we know, otherwise we're being, in all these celebrations sacramentally, terribly and horribly exclusive and elitist. Or we are trying to be consistent and then offer by way of what? Desire, the more beautiful vision, that somehow our Lord invites me, miserable that I am, but he's giving his heart to me in my misery, right? To go back to what I like about uh, this theme of mercy.